Welcome back to Bright Raven. I, as always, am your host, Bastion, and today we're playing a little bit more Remnant from the Ashes. And we're trying to take down the world boss, the Butterflies, as they're commonly called, so we can take their heart back to the Undying King, and so I can get a scythe that steals life for this, ah, uh, melee, well, not melee focused, but, uh, tank focused build. Let's see how this works. Okay. <laughs> Why you got me like that? Oh, that's not good. I definitely think it's doable. I think that was a bunch of crap. I'm breaking stuff because I'm grumpy. Alright. Definitely have to activate both of them because I don't want this one having a full life bar. Good. <coughs> jumped off. Uh, this is definitely doable, ladies and gentlemen. I just gotta be a little bit more aware of my surroundings because the only reason I've lost is because I got knocked off the bridge. Which is just frustrating to no end, let me tell you.
だ Come on. Let me lower the bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. I told you I could so. do it. Oh, I would have rather taken them down uh, at the exact same time, but uh, I'm not going to complain <laughs> because that gives me an awesome melee weapon, but I'm going to go get an awesome melee weapon anyway, so okay. I will take what I get and be happy with it. The Undying King will be kind to me. Oh, not enough room. That's okay, though. And I still had one Dragon Heart left. So cool. And I don't think. Yeah, I just have the Guardian's Heart. I think I picked up, yeah, a lot of scrap from that. So, let's just go back and give the Undying King his due, shall we? We're going to go back to Rom and the Undying Throne. As long as I could stay on the bridge, I had that thing's number. That's what I needed, and there we went. I tried this early in multiplayer, and man, it was just insanely difficult because you're not just fighting for yourself and the mobs have a little bit more, you know, health, it would seem. But by myself, as long as I was able to stay on the bridge, I had it. This is a fairly good build. 
Tanky, 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 and I like it. And I think I might be keeping the swarm on here. It's pretty nice. Have you the heart? Yes, I do. I have questions, questions are the procrastination of the weak, child. Hey, look, Tiny. A scourge and a parasite, driven by a single mind. Like a disease, they absorb what they can, and destroy what they cannot, until all that is left is the root. Yeah, I don't like that. They are efficient. I grant them that. I cannot fault their strength, though I hope to overcome it. Time is not on our side. Have you the heart? Yeah, I'll just give it to him. Yep, here you go. Astounding. I am uncomfortably in your debt. I will rectify that. But first, the Akari will not wrong you now. You, O oh Traveler, have ushered in the Age of Reconstruction. Long have I waited for this moment, for the chance to renew this world under my strong guiding hand. Long have you slept and sustained me. Though all others have forgotten, I have not. On this day, I deliver you. And together, may we forge a new and greater civilization. A new era has begun. You have done well, child, and my debt to you will be repaid. As you have saved my world, so may you save your own. Or at least, may you die bravely. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. There's the labyrinth key. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome sauce. Now then, the ribbon. It's 50 damage, but that's okay. I can work with it. Yeah! It'll do. Just another piece to try and make me as undying as, uh, well, him. And more importantly, I finally get to go to Asia. Which has some really cool mods and weapons in it. And hopefully I'll be able to snag a couple of them. I think it's this way. Maybe, wait a minute. Maybe not. I'd like to find out what's going on with uh, the uh, that new guardian that we've just helped usher in. That I think is very curious to me. Is this the right gates? Nope. This is one. Okay. Yep, that's just back to the ish call madness. Which I, I really do think that uh, she wanted to just pretty much conquer the world on her own. It's an ice planet, and the only place that a lot of the individuals are is in a thermal regulated location, so it's kind of like. 
I imagine that the primary race of horses is probably the blue elves and then the uh, the insectoid people are just kind of like uh, I would not say second class citizens but they're not primary importance on the world. At least that's what it seems. I'm really glad I had not died of that glitch again. The glitch where whenever you try and come out of one of those portals, you just die. Yep. Alright, this is it. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do it. I am so excited to see if uh, we get a lot more of our, a lot more things unlocked as this game goes along. I'm fairly excited to see what goes on there. I'm just glad that I had the confidence to say, okay, I can record me defeating these two butterflies because it's not easy, but I'm pretty sure I can pull it off. And I don't know if they hit harder in multiplayer, but I know they have more health, or at least it seems that way. Uh, we're going to go back to Ward 13, upgrade my scythe a little bit, and anything else I can. Um, if I have enough Luminite Crystals, I might upgrade my, uh, my Dragon Hearts, because I only have up to 10 that I can keep with me. And I think I get an achievement or something unlocked at that point, but... Uh, I'm not as interested in the achievement as just the attempt to make my guy as unkillable as possible, which I'm going to be using uh, upgrading Catalyst and Glutton to try and make him use my consumables quicker, if that even works. I uh, don't have enough Luminite Crystals to upgrade it, I don't think. <gasps> Maybe she has some. Whoops. Hey, traveler. She does one. Later. And I was with a couple of uh, crazy individuals earlier in multiplayer. The portent returns. And they were just farming for Have materials. Have you anything of the root for me? Man. This may help you on your journey. They were able to get me yeah, okay. out. Tread they carefully, were able to get me child. a lot of awesome stuff. And now it comes to do I want to upgrade a weapon? Or do I want to upgrade uh, you know, my dragon hearts? At this point it's kind of a toss up of uh Yeah? Yeah, Better. she doesn't have anything else. <sighs> kind of a oh, toss up. Driver. What's what going to make need? me more survival? Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what does it go up? Fit five points. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is what I'm going to be using more often, so let's upgrade it. Alright, weapon, I need hardened iron. And here's all the other weapons I have. The Defiler, the Devastator. I really wanted that to be the Lost Spear. But oh well, the Lost Harpoon. But, you know. This is all the stuff I've caught so far. I can make a lot of very interesting builds. But I really want to try out my tank Take as care, much my as possible. All right. I'm not in the mood for chat. Let's see what I have in traits. I got three trade points. 
uh, we're going to amp up Catalyst, and then we're going to go to Glutton, and then we're going to start messing with uh, stamina recovery and such. So let's just get the Catalyst there first. And the reason I'm going after Catalyst is because it gives me a 25% chance not to consume a Dragon Heart on use and increases self-healing effective with all healing items by 25%. I'm trying to get that 25% chance to proc a little bit more often. And it does proc fairly decently now, so. Uh, increased range of uh, all firearms by 20%. Eh, we can probably find something better. Uh, uh da, 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 da. So I could either go I'm go let's just do the resistances. Let's try and make this tanky. Yeah, let's go that way. Now my resistances should be fairly high. All right. Upgrade it a little bit. Let's go to Yasha. And then we'll probably just look around in the world a little bit, maybe get to the first dungeon, and probably call that the episode. Uh, I am definitely enjoying this game very, very, very much. On single player, it is definitely, you can solo pretty much any boss. Um, some of the bosses that I could not, in any way, shape, or form, beat with a group, I have been able to beat solo. Uh, Clavenger, for example. Uh, in a group, I was never able to defeat him. Never. But as solo, I was able to defeat him on, I think, my second time trying. Uh, the, the two mods, I was able to defeat in a group before, but it's very, very, very hard. I was able to defeat him my third time by me just doing my thing. So Now, what I really want to get in here is the Ravenger jungle never thought I'd ever see one the ravager and then try and get the claws because as much as I'm going to enjoy the life stealing abilities of this weapon I really want the Wolverine claws hey, hey, hey. easy easy e okay I think I found the, the ring that just gives me health over time, right? Yeah, no, I have not. Okay. Hey, buddy. And stay down! It may not be a lot of health, but it is definitely noticeable. Just rude. Get out of here. Yep. 
Glass cannons. Glass cannons against a tank. Not good for the cannon. This is a beautiful location. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. That's what I wanted equipped, so that's cool. All right. Okay. this jungle makes. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Want to make sure I'm checking all the nooks and crannies. The nooks and crannies are what have the shinies. And I need all the shinies. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I have definitely enjoyed the last two worlds the most. Uh, the swamp, uh, courses, and uh, definitely this one. All right, buddy, come on. I ought to do like a Stargate SG-1 on this. You know, after we've saved Earth and everything, military takes control of the situation. Oh yeah, it'd be great. Talk to me if you want any script writing. More than happy to help you out. <laughs> a lot to this. He's down! I 
And yes, I'm entitling this particular build survivability. Whether it happens or not, that's what I'm attempting. Hey, buddy. a blue and there's my first boss Dragonheart, we'll take this. <sighs> Ooh, that was rough. Eh. Go up there and get that blue. I prefer purple, but I will take what I can get. Ah, uh, let's go this way. I really want to get up there and. Oh, oh no, you don't. Nope. Boys, boys, come on now. You irritated me. <laughs> yeah, you literally walked into that pal. Taking those, and it's, you know, takes a little bit longer, but it's almost as, if, as effective as a dragon heart it is huge. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, really? I'm serious right now. That's all you got! Let's do the checkpoint first. All right, guys. Anybody else? Good. Lady, you got any nasty surprises for me? I'm not going to be happy. Just saying. All right, lady. Hand over everything. Who what does it want? I don't think. Pixeltech. I did not realize. Uh, what brings it so far from home? A man? Other Pixeltech? Ugh, I cannot help it. <laughs> but perhaps I can offer something else. Yeah, maybe. I. Acquire things, Pexeltech. Anything it needs, no matter how rare or dangerous. Wow. <laughs> Provided it does not ask the origins. I also deal in information. Should that interest it more. <laughs> so long got. as it doesn't ask questions. Yeah, I understand hmm? that. Yeah, 
not buying this. Not buying that. Spear's cool. It will tell me if it finds anything of value. Yes, yes. yes. I don't trust you, lady. I'm assuming you're a lady. Sorry. Plus nine, plus fifteen. It's definitely good armor. I'm staying with my fighter. I wanted to go up this way because I saw that blue up here. do this the hard way. You sure you want to go, big fella? <laughs> That's all you got! Ah, there you are! Hi! I did not see you there. Not going to It's over. <laughs> All right. kind of interesting. I've watched a lot of uh, gameplay of this, and I normally don't see the merchant that early. So that was kind of cool. A little bit of variation here and there. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go check out this little grotto. I think I've already... No, I haven't. There's nothing here. <laughs> kind of unusual, but all right. I'll work with it. All right. guns what you got you got some stabbing implements come on don't make me do this I don't want to shoot you I don't but you're giving me a little choice here it's not like I came uninvited into your world and you know Started chilling or anything. Oh, wait a minute. That's kind of exactly what I did. It's, it's still, I have a job to do. I need to find Ford, and you guys are keeping him hostage. I think. So, you have a choice. Give him up, or I put you down. I don't know, I think this is a good choice. I don't, I don't see what the problem is. 
Now, true, I think I have doomed Corsus, but in all truth, the same thing was going to happen either way. I was either going to have a hive mind that was going to be the entirety of the planet, or uh, it was going to be overrun by the root. Oh, we got a fight up ahead. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into a fight. Let's do it. Let's do it! Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Get out of here. What? Hello. You're shooting me. These guys hurt. A lot. Go get them, bugs. I thought you were dead. Now you're dead. There we go. Hey. Ooh, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough, right in the back.
speak, outsider? Who is it you serve? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What are my options? <laughs> you wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> I know your kind. You are Poxoltech. Outsider. Ah. Huh. Perhaps a friend, then. I try. The Paxeltech Ford aided our cause. It is for him I speak to you at all. But Ford is gone now. They question him to find us. I need to find him. A queen keeps him in her ziggurat. Ziggurat is easy to find. Ford... is not. Can I ask you some questions? This one is Navun, once a sentry her. of the Empress herself, now leader of those who resist the nobility. In truth, it is immortals we fight, the progenitors of the uh. noble lines. The nobles themselves are deceived. The Empress gives them long life to serve her. To serve her, the nobles oppress the Pan. These slaves, the Kolket, are the true victims. Aww. They are raised believing they serve immortals, that their place is preordained. But immortality is a lie. The tree that gives the rulers life is dead. Though not all yet know it. Thank you. Yesha, well. watch over you. Thank you very much. Oh, the triage. That's huge. That's huge. Huge. Health regen effectiveness. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So that, let's just, boom. Get that up to 20%. That's going to be amazing. I need something for health gen at this point. Yes, I do. All right. That was actually really cool. Those archers hurt. <laughs> they hurt a lot, actually. So my effectiveness with my, let's see. Yeah, with my uh, blood wart will be even greater now. Cool. Uh, I think there is a ring that passively just regenerates health. So that will be helpful, uh, especially with the triage skill boosted. So, heck yeah. All right. So does it stack with the amulet? Because that's supposed to increase my regeneration capabilities. Because if they stack, that is uh, really, really huge. All I need is something that has regen on it, and then it's going to quite quickly regen a lot. That would be awesome. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that's going to do it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, consider leaving a like, comment, and perhaps even subscribing. I've been Bastion, this has been Bright Raven Gaming, and until next time, I wish you all a fantastic day.